Hey guys, and uh, God, we got snow. Oh, come on. I'm tired of snow. Anyways, back to another Farming USA 2 video. As you can see, we're in uh, winter mode here. Got the old Ford, which is a plow truck hooked up to the snow plow. Got the Cummins sitting out, which has a hard time starting sometimes, but we're getting the old F-250. Let me take you guys down on the barn real quick. And I got the rest of the snow moving equipment in there. I would actually sell this for a first generation Dodge, but I like this truck. But here is the rest of our snow moving setup. Try and I'm going to try and not use this tractor because this is not very good on the snow blower. But we got the good old 7R with the big old plow on it. That's going to do all the plowing and then the semi trucks back there empty. Challenger and John Deere and the 4455 got tillage done. Well, the 7R and the Challenger got tillage done. I spread one field of hog manure and that was it. I have to spread the rest in the spring. But I've done some changes. I have sold a, a barn full of pigs. We're down to one barn full of pigs. You can see we're at a fair bit of money than what we were. I sold a load of milk and then I did some rearranging and some animals. I wish I had waited for just the sound effects for the snow. This is really loud. It's like deafening loud. But I'll show you which barn is full. I want to make sure I have 4020 put up. Oh yeah, 4020 put up. It is this barn right here. that still has hogs in it. That's barn two. I think barn one of this one is, is empty. They paying for the drying bill. And I bought the milk tanker with that money as well. So we will head this way so I can show you some other things. I can't plow out snow for some reason. I don't think there's enough though, which is quite annoying if you ask me. I tried to the come ones with the snow plow and this at the snow plow. The bolt didn't push it. And I haven't got the John Deere out here. There's not enough snow to warrant that. But I wish you could buy dump trucks, like with big real snow plows on them. Yeah, I'm tired of winter. Can't tell already live in Minnesota and snow does not sound like rain. As far as I know, it doesn't. It's nice and peaceful out when it snows. Quiet, no one's out. Not like downpouring rain. Maybe that's just me. Now, something I want to talk about with you guys. If I pull into here, it's this field right here. This one I put hog manure on last year, and there's still no crop in it because I am going to put. I was going to put winter wheat in, but it was just too wet. But I am going to be putting some spring barley in here. Then we'll harvest that barley and get the 4020 with the disc over here and disc that field, disc this field with a little, with a little disc. Then we get the Ford out here and run the grain drill. Then probably come and spray it. Dairy, far, dairy barns are doing well. I did get that uh, silo to work again, just a glitch. Yeah, we'll keep going this way. And we'll go next place that we're going to stop the feedlot. And I'm going to have to get one of those goosenecks out of that barn. And I'm going to need to load it up with the Ford on it because some, I might need to use the Ford for some areas to move snow. So that means I have to go purchase a bucket for it. Which would be fine. I mean, I have the money to do so, so why not? And I'm going to put some uh, wheat in this field. One of these fields, and now I'm going to chop it for corn. But here's where you need to be. And that's where I was doing some testing here. Right here, see all this snow? I can't push this with the plow truck. Now I'm filming it, Will. But you can see the red half, the uh, red Angus heifers are moved up here, the black Angus heifers. Not heifers, steers. I'm sorry, I've been on. Uh, Doing some other things, you see hog barns. I don't know why it's still sitting at 250 pounds. Dairy barn, we're good and everything there. Feedlot. You see, barn one, year and six months, they're 1100, 
1194 and they're supposed to be at 1400 so I'm moving them up here same with the red angus ones I think they're they weigh a little less than down here we got brand new oh well, we got some new steers back here 20 of them so that should keep us busy and how are we doing for food over here food or we could use some food but yeah I didn't clean that out because it's middle of winter it's impossible to see we're spreading if it was real life you wouldn't have a problem now I want to show you now watch since I'm on camera we'll push it nope see won't do anything plows up just won't do anything so yeah, we'll wait for the snow to fall over and I'll turn the camera back on and we'll go plow some more snow. What town is doing well? I had a hard time selling milk. I couldn't drive the truck in there like I wanted to. I had to back it in there. So that's when I wish I had like a straight truck or something. But a little easier to maneuver than that big tanker. This is an international bucket. I need to come down here and grab that, but I'm not going to. This is going to be our winter work truck. So this truck and the Cummins. I don't think the Cummins will have a hard time starting sometimes, but what do you do? This is a gas truck, an F-250 gas, so we should have enough, more than plenty of power to push snow. I wish I could get this one in white like to match ours, but I can't. See how, since we're over here, we'll check the uh, pastures. Pasture 2, 62 percent for feeders, 62 percent for feeder. They'll need hay soon, but not any time. You see five on nine months, that ain't, that's pasture 3. Okay, so these cows are at seven months, these cow calf. The calf's at seven months when they're at, when they are at 10 months, well, I'm gonna sell some of the cows and keep heifers. I won't sell all of them, but you know what I'm gonna do. And keep the steers, get them fattened up and sell them at the sales barn. And I think I'm going to post this Cummins for sale soon. Maybe get one like this one, but with a bed on it. Because I already have a flatbed truck. I don't like those rear tires stick out either. But I'll show you where the milk tanker is. See the grain drill sitting out. I just put it right there because I really don't want to back it up over here. It's kind of a pain to back in here at times. And let's see. Okay, that doesn't have any snow on it. Grand Dyer is still running. Actually, we'll check the moistures. Saving. Soybeans are dry. Corn, still fairly wet. Shoot. But... Yeah, here is the equipment all lined up, cleaned up. Big disc, of course, was on the Challenger, then this chisel plow is on the 7R, and the tanker is on the 4455. Chisel plow on the tandem disc, chisel plow on the corn ground, disc on the beans, and we got it knocked out fairly quick. I think it was about a day's time we got it knocked out. Maybe just got knocked out in a couple hours. But here's the big tanker. Gravity wagon and the uh, mower. So, yeah. Stuff is kind of a disarray back here. I haven't bothered to clean some of them up just because we were in a rush and I just parked them. Yeah, but here's the big STS with the big duels on it, and then the 23D with the small duels. I think if we have a, as wet as a fall we had last year, I think this guy might be getting a set of tracks. 
Yeah, here's the two summer work trucks. Yep, two summer work trucks. Two Chevrolets. Both, both Duramaxes. See the tires stick on this guy too. Not as bad as the Cummins. Yep, we got the Duramaxes. We got the Duramax trucks in here because you know, Chevy's rot extremely fast if they're in salt. Then we got the old Kenworth. Sitting here chilling and ready to go to work and at a notice, at a short notice. Yep, here's a good old four loader that we all know and love. Old blue. Serves us well. For main for the main loader tractor, she uh has fairly little hours on her. But big seven R doesn't. It's got over a hundred hours on it. This is one of the main tractors. To, uh, this one does all the plowing, planting, what does all the tillage, planting, and snow plowing. This four does all the, uh, does the feeding for around the pastures. It'll do some, do some seeding, some disking, and it'll run the snow blower if we need to. 4455 is the same. I was watching the Iowa Dairy Boys channel, and I saw one of their 4450s had like four lights, I think. I have to go back and look, but I'm not positive. I think they, one of them was. Never put a load on one of the old sound guards in this one. Or the Iron Horse series. So it was dual. Uh, they might be in line with, those, with the rear tires, this one. I hope they're not like right here in the center of these axles, because that's annoying. That would not be good for planting. This has the highest, this one has over 200 hours on it. We'll go to the equipment. 254 hours. It's one of my favorite tractors to run. Same with the Challenger and the 7R. This guy doesn't use much, but this one does all the corn planting on a milder, dry year. Last spring it had to run the grain drill because it was so wet. This thing actually pulled the grain drill better than the seven uh, R would at times, and this guy would do all the corn planting and um, do a little bit of wheat and beans here and there. But up top we have the uh, couple other tractors. You got the forty twenty, which open station duels. That one will run the manure pump, the hog barn, the disc, and maybe it probably won't run the grain drill unless every other unless all the other tractors are busy. But I think I might run the air, the air seeder, the air drill. This guy to get the, to get the spring wheat, spring barley in the ground because it's a short window and it's early in the spring and you might have to mud it in. So we got the horsepower for it, so we might as well use our horsepower to our advantage instead of getting one of the smaller tra one of the smaller tractors stuck. I think everyone would agree this is supposed to be a John Deere snowblower or a Frontier. There's a fair bit of work around. There's the bell spear. It'll go up front. We'll go up to the top. Of course, you know, big old barn, a heated barn. We haven't gotten this much snow. We haven't gotten a whole lot of snow. It's been snowing for, for a bit. Snowed all morning and starting to snow in the afternoon. This is what I don't understand. Snow does not pile like this. I don't know why it piles in the woods first and on the roads, but I think it's because of the heat factor. I'm up here, feed wagon, which will uh, drain my checkbook very, very, very fast. Straw bales need to be sold. There's two hay bales left. I know you might be saying need more hay bales. But here's a John Deere 12 row planter, seed tender, and then the hardy sprayer. This guy is sitting out. I should have put it inside. It's May might be for sale. We might run it one more year. But there's a lawnmower, and here's a shipment of bales I picked up from the dairy barn. Then there's a 4020 and a lawnmower. Oh yeah, I wish I could put a loader. I'm going to put a loader on this guy, so it can help move bales in the summer. This guy, classic. I don't need to say much about it because you know how reliable his tractors are in real life. 
Now all tillage is done, we, uh, I'm going to save the fuel that's back here to spray. And the two bigger fuel, the two back fields are over here. I'm going to put manure on them, cow manure. So we're going to do that. Then the other fields. The fields are along the hog barn are going to have hog manure put on them. Then the two uh, small fields that we're going to put corn in uh, another thing of wheat in and we're going to put those we're going to put more cow manure in those no anhydrous i just don't have it i sold it to an neighboring farm so kind of free up some of the tractors and like this year I, we would never been able to put anhydrous down so next best thing is we just we sold it like two fall two years ago so, yeah, that's my most popular video, actually. That's gone. Of course, this guy, what am I going to do with it? I don't do any, really any fertilizer, any fertilizer spreading anymore. Really don't, but we might pull it out and do a little bit. I don't know, I might sell this and get a 3.1. But they're just nice to have around. And we're going to let some snowfall get back to you. Yeah, so that Ford is going to get a bucket on it, snowblower, and that will go to, if we need it, to the dairy, to the dairy barn feedlot, because the alleyway we might need to, I don't think we'll be able to run a snowplow down there very often, so we'd have to run, what are you doing? Get back in your pasture, heifer, come on, let's go. Get out of the woods, you're killed. Come on, get in there. Come on, go, get, let's go. There you go, I hate that. And here's the heifer pasture. The bull's got a pasture of his own right now. Because he's going to go up to the upper pasture for this coming spring or summer. He's in the, he's in the pasture where the steers would go in. Which the steers are going to, some of the, half the steers are going to be sold. Probably this spring. Sell them. Because they'll probably be at maximum weight capacity and we'll sell them at 1,400 pounds. And the new steers, the steers I just bought would go in this pasture right here. I think we won't buy any more steers. I think they'll just come out of the heifers and cows. He's in the pasture by himself. Let's see if we can find him. I've actually never been able to see the bull up close. Where are you? Come here, you. There you are. He's a red Angus. He don't look any different than the steers. You don't got to swing a nut sack either. He gets his own uh, party. Wait a minute, do we have an udder on you? I thought he had a udder on him. Yeah, there's the, uh, you can see how much of a hill that is right there. Yeah, so feed has gone off the charts recently. Look at that. That's right up there with the, with the milk and the soybeans. And I think also the barley too. Barley is fairly profitable in wheat. I just don't grow a lot of it. Why are you eating the grass? There's no grass. Got this. Yeah, you're going to need to be fed soon. So I might have to unhook the blower because what I need to do, I need to take the snow blower when you're getting, and just blow a path to there because I ain't going to risk getting the fit the truck because seven aren't going to fit through there that gate it might fit through this gate but we will run a snowblower through here which would be easier to actually throw the snow a fair distance anyways just a quick update on the farm i know the headers aren't cleaned off but there's not much going on so you probably could expect this video and a snow plowing video so thanks for watching guys catch you in the next one